Diamond, the Chris Wenzel Memorial Tournament rolls on for its second day this weekend right here in Bismarck. The Bismarck Capitals and West Fargo Vets matching up. Vets leading this one five to nothing. And we love to give catchers love. Carson Tavito showing off the cannon behind the plate gets the out to end the inning. The very next inning, Jared Sarston joins the party, guns the runner out, but look at the acrobatic tag from Seth Dietz to finish the job. That's impressive. Vets get the offense going again in the fourth inning, though. Matthew Hupel, perfect placement down that right field line. That's a two RBI double to make it seven to nothing, and the Vets roll on to a 12 to one win. Later in the day, over at Holland Baseball Field, Capitals meeting the Dickinson Volunteers. Caps wasting no time in the first inning. Josh Lardy skying this one to deep center field. Gets under it, a throw to the plate, but the runner beats it for the early one to nothing lead. The Vols would settle down after that. Working out of a jam here, the pitcher handles the comebacker to end the inning and get out of the jam. Both pitchers working well early in this game. Check out the breaking ball from Jared Sarston. Made you look to end the inning. This one tied in the fifth after the last score update, one to one. Earlier in the day, the Bismarck Scarlets fell to Fargo post 400. Here's a look at what's lined up for tonight. Two Bismarck teams matching up at Municipal Ballpark across town. Dickinson will play its second game of the day against the Bismarck Scar Scarlets. We'll have highlights from both of those games tonight at 10. And how about some postseason awards? A look at the Class B All-State baseball teams from the high school season. All of these guys, first team selections. Renville County landing two on the list. Colin Hedrick, Josh Culling, and Cy Luna making the All-State team as well. Rounding out the list of West Side players is Bishop Ryan's Logan Merck, Beulah's Trapper Skalski, and Luke Zimmer from Velva Drake Animus. And how about this postseason honor? Parker Harm from Mandan becomes the first pitcher ever to be named an All-American at NDSU. The senior relief pitcher tied a school record for saves this year with 12 selected to the ABCA All-American third team. Quite a way to wrap up his career. And a quick check-in on the College World Series in Omaha. Century's Dalton Feeney, part of that NC State Wolfpack team. They get a huge win, 10-4 over Stanford today. Feeney didn't pitch today. But a chance to get back out there on Monday for the second game of the tournament. So 